Shadow of Judgment. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Shadow of Judgment. What is Shadow of Judgment? I'll tell you as soon as I open my fucking window. Because it's hot in my house for once after days and days of freezing my balls off. Ugh. There. Now we can listen to the highway together like a family. All right. What is Shadow of Judgment, everyone? Well, I'm going to pick a sign, fire, earth, air, or water. W water, yeah, water. Where I go through and figure out what is your shadow side up to? What kind of devious things should you try to avoid about the person you're dealing with? Gonna be earth signs. Oh, well, that's quick. We're gonna be work looking at what you can work on with yourself throughout the week. So if you got some nasties or someone's trying to do some nasties with you, we're gonna pick that up on the shadow side. Hence the name Shadow of Judgment. We're looking on the dark side of the moon and we're actually starting with earth signs. So fuck yeah. Taurus, you're up first, so. Line them up. This is your Shadow of Judgment Earth Signs. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Let's see what the motives are for your week. I would have done this yesterday, but there was a prick on my uh, channel who I just, you know, had to deliver a message. Taurus, good times and getting wish fulfillment. Those are your motives for your Shadow of Judgment. Mm, look at you getting some stuff. I need to move this down. Yes, uh, yeah, you guys are definitely doing your shadow side work. But for your benefit, it seems like. Ugh, who the fuck is that getting all nettled because of your wish fulfillment? Ooh. 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 My dear Taurus, look at you. Someone might be regretting a third party while someone is dreaming of possibly getting away. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Look at you, Taurus. Let's see if we can pick up some like probationary periods for this as well. Just one. Okay. So, let's see what we got for your Shadow of Judgment, Taurus, for... Well, we will say, well, technically it was supposed to be yesterday, which was the 14th, but this will be going on to at least the 20th, and then, like, the 21st, which is, like, next Friday. So, yeah, at least till next Friday. Okay, I gotcha. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, there might have been an issue with over-celebrations or feeling like, um, people want to party, but all that partying leads to someone feeling regretful about what happened in it. You can see the Five of Cups right here. And this dude's looking over the Three of Cups, which is up here, which is like, this is a good time. Fuck. That good time kind of put blood all over the floor, you know? And now someone's keeping their guard up about it, as if it's almost a secret. Which is causing someone to not have any passion to move forward right here. It could be Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, either or, because the Knight of Wands and the King of Wands are both here, and they're both looking at the situation where someone wants a wish fulfillment to leave everything behind and they want to kind of sever ties or they're impatient or they're just playing out in Sagittarius, this could also be Sagittarius, or just done. You could be dealing with somebody who's a Sagittarius or you just got Sagittarius in your chart or you know how it goes. Um, this King of Wands up here who is not being entirely fair or clear minded um, has a hard time keeping their restraints but finds that there's no real movement because of this whole ordeal over here with the three of cups right so there might be a separation you have with somebody or a temptation to make a wish fulfillment to move away and separate from someone all under the guise because like it doesn't seem like someone doesn't have any passion for anything and they're keeping their guard up regarding this third party situation and because of that, they're restricting themselves very greatly and they don't want to move forward. If the Eight of Wands wasn't reversed, it'd be moving forward towards this person who wants to go away. So that is your judgment for right now, Taurus. Sink it in. Let it deep. Choose wisely what you want to do with your path. Virgo, you're next on the Shadows of Judgment. So get up here and be judged like the rest of us are going to be today. 
Well, technically, you guys are good at judgment. You you guys judge a lot of people, honestly. Like, I don't know. I can't tell if Virgo or Capricorns are more judgmental people. Like, Taurus, they just don't care enough to be judgmental pe about people. They're too worried about, like, you know, awesome shit. Virgo, it, it, like, they're service for others more oriented. And Capricorn's like, everybody works for me. You know, that's just how Capricorn is. But Capricorn definitely needs to figure out sometimes, you know, that, um... Just because you think everyone works like you does not necessarily mean that everyone works for you. But that's a Capricorn thing. That's not you. And we're talking about you. So, let's see what's going on with you, Virgo. What are the motives? Oh, someone's not happy. I can go over here, because that looks like this where it belongs. And... Oh, because there's no new beginning. Okay, that's why that card goes over there. That makes more sense. Thank you. All right, let's see what else is going on. Something about a commitment right here, a marriage. Somebody who might... You might be dealing with a Taurus, but this could also be you if you were in a leadership position. You might feel like you have to delegate over people, but in reality, it's just like you really just don't love any of these motherfuckers anymore. They're all annoying. They all get on your nerves. You're like sitting there all perfect, perfected. If that's you. If not, that's a Taurus. Or it could just be somebody in an authority figure over you. Or someone you know in an authority position. Ew. There is a Queen of Cups reversed here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Oh, you want to leave too. Everyone's fucking leaving. All the Earth signs are leaving. <laughs> like, I actually saw me... Like, I actually kind of saw a video on the weather channel today, well, of like a bunch of random grazing grass goats like wandering off and it was just like, who released the Capricorns? Oh, God damn. Speaking of Capricorn, <laughs> look at that. Hmm, I wonder if I keep bringing them up with you guys. Okay, you could be dealing with a Capricorn too. Or you could realize this position of authority is being, um, I, wanna, I almost wanna say it was being abused, but it's not anymore. We got strength reversed over here. You guys kind of had this in your uh, mid June to July reading, too. Something about a Queen of Cups you guys are involved with. Some sort of water sign. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. There you are, finally. We get to you. We got every other Earth sign up here but you, and you're like dead last. But, oh! Oh, 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 look at you, Virgo. So beautiful and majestic with your pentacle. Looking at its perfection, just being like, these peasants aren't touching this, they'll fuck it up. I know they will. Sorry, I was channeling my mother right there. She's a Virgo. <laughs> All right, Taurus, or not Taurus. I'm looking at the Hierophant. I'm just uh, screwing you up, Virgo, and I'm sorry. I'm not meaning to. I really am not. I'm not trying to have everybody else invade your thing, right? <clears throat> but there is something here, either a love loss, an apology not given, or some kind of bullshit that just ruptured a new beginning with a Queen of Cups right here, and she might be kind of restricting herself, which is something that you're now noticing, like you're coming out of the whole like analyzation thing and you're coming to some realizations or some shit. And it's almost like... As you, as you, if you are this authority figure right there, it's almost like as you're coming out of this devil energy, either you're dealing with a Capricorn or you're not, there was some connection here that was nasty, and the reason that it came to an end is because someone played some fuck fuck games and lost. Like, they were expecting these people to come back for the fight, but they didn't. They left, and now he's just standing on the shore like, well, are they coming back or are they not, you know? And over here, we have somebody who's definitely not happy. They want to leave in order to stay secure. And that would be you, Taurus. You are very much willing to, like, leave all this shit behind. Because it's just getting to you. I feel like. Like, there's something underlying. There's some water sign that's just... I can't tell if they're... Like, I don't know. Taurus? I mean, fuck. God damn it. Virgo. <laughs> okay. Virgo. I can't tell if you're being emotionally manipulated by this Queen of Cups or somebody in this position and you're just now figuring it out, looking over all of this and realizing, oh, this is going to end up badly, right? Or you're just done with the situation with uh, 
water sign, work, shit like that. But I don't feel like this is work. This like is the Hierophant, so it's more along like community, religion, family, friends. There, there was something bad that ended. Where the person who did the naughty shit is now sitting here like, well, are they coming back? But you're not. It's like you're over here. You took off because you weren't happy. You got your security. And look at you. You're just sitting all pretty. It took you a while to get over it. But now you're over here in your element with everything perfect. Just the way you made it because everybody else would have messed it up. Sorry, I'm channeling my mother right now. <laughs> but that's your shadow of judgment, Virgo. Sorry about all of the confluffle. It makes you feel better, Capricorn. Eh, I don't know. Capricorns? I have to say, with your shadow of judgment, be very careful. Because right now, we're giving off the air that we don't give a fuck. Not like we're saying that we don't give a fuck. I mean, we are literally carrying the energy. Like, if there are three signs that don't give a fuck, it's Aries, Scorpio, and Capricorn. And Capricorn... With the Scorpio and Mars right now, you are exalted within Scorpio. Like, Scorpio is like a break for us because we're already driven to do shit, right? But you're also in that element of, like, not giving a shit. So, be aware. Because, <laughs> like, I've been, like, kind of been caught up with my own. Not meaning to, but it's just kind of like, you know, I, I just don't feel like being invested in everything. I'm just going to detach, like, an Aquarius and, like, chill at my house. Oh, Ooh. what is going on? Yeah, anxiety, cautions, warnings, not being able to sleep at night. That's true for me. I'm actually exhausted. Let's see. What else do we got for you? We also have the star. Either somebody's having anxiety about not communicating or someone just is trying not to even worry about it. Possibly dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, who... Hmm. Let's see. For this week, Capricorn, it seems like... Hmm. The motives are anxiety and lack of communication, and someone's just straight up just... Well, they're not giving a fuck. Like, not... Well, it's not to the point where they don't give a fuck, they give a fuck, but the problem is, is that they only give a fuck about themselves. But I don't feel like that's you. Oh, third party situation that led to a breakup? Oh my goodness, Caps. What have you gotten yourselves into? That's not me. It better not be me. Um, someone doesn't want to communicate because it's fair. That's actually, okay, look at this, right? Both of these people have something in their hands. This woman who's naked and this dude who's wearing clothes. I don't know why she's naked, but it's like Aquarius' card, so it doesn't matter right? That's how it is. Just accept it. But this lack of communication stems from somebody giving more to the other. Whether they think that, like, that thing in their pocket means something or they thought that, you know, like, oh, I'll just give to this person because, you know, I already gave to that person. Like, look, they got red in their pocket. Either way, it, the, the lack of communication is about fairness. Of course, I'm going to give you guys a little more. Ew, okay, okay. Let's see. I think this is the same person I've been seeing you guys deal with. I'm just not entirely sure. Because you guys have been dealing with somebody for a while. I feel like, yeah. Queen of Swords Reverse. Ew, actually. Okay. Doo -doo -doo. Someone's spying. Someone's spying. Actually, I got quite a few Capricorn. All right, I got these last three, last four. Jesus, okay. Last four. I'm just going to go ahead and put them out for you since I already got them. Um, all right, look at this, right? Now this is fucked up, and behind everything, there is a uh, loop being had because something did not get resurrected. It's like somebody's waiting for something to happen. Like, I mean, the cycle's already done, but it's also like, you know, it could easily become another loop. So be very careful, Capricorns, because you don't want to end up repeating the exact same shit you already did. That would be the definition of insanity. All right. So your judgment, Capricorn, from 
today until next Friday, which is the 21st, I believe. Um, you are dealing with anxiety and anguish and pain and caution about a third party situation. You either get yourself into it or somebody is doing that to you. And there are a lot of regrets over it, but you're willing to move on. In fact, you're willing to travel with this. The problem is, is that this person right here, who I think is the person who might have got you into the third party, I don't know, or it could even be you. So take what you will, right? But the King of Cups right here, he's selfish. We got the Emperor Reverse right here. He doesn't care. And look who's snooping. Page of Swords. Just looking right at the situation of this person who decided to get over this loss and move on. And she's got a sword. Just be like, you're not going fucking anywhere. You know. <laughs> okay, that was kind of dark. Even for me. You know, I was a little bit too much Fatal Attraction right there. But I can't help but feel like that's actually kind of what someone's saying. Like, we got the star. This lack of communication stemmed from fairness. Possibly with the Libra, too. Because, like, air. You know, all three of those have air. Actually, all four of those are air. So, there's that. Um, this lack of fairness. Oh, okay. This lack of communication. There's something about it. That stems from a, a sort of fairness. Maybe you're dealing with a Libra who, I don't know, is convinced of um, something. Or maybe you're trying to convince a Libra of something or whatever. This Libra and King of Cups could actually be the same person, depending on how you look at it. But someone definitely has lost their mind because they see you as the King of Pentacles all of a sudden. Much like Virgo. Like, Taurus is the only one who really didn't get it. Well, Taurus was in Virgos. Um... But you and Virgo both have the King of Pentacles in your probationary periods. So it's kind of like this person sees you and they just flip a switch. It's just kind of like, you know, I'm not going to give to you this guy right here because this person looks like they need more. You have something in your pocket. And then all of a sudden, like, they go nuts because boom. Hey, you remember when you wouldn't give me shit and now they, they're becoming immature and wanting to see what you're up to. But it's like, here's the page, here's the page of wands. Also is immature. And he's just standing there with his wand like, what are you doing? Like, he's literally looking up at this person who wants to like snoop and find some shit and all sorts of other stuff. But unfortunately, you move, you, you see them, you see them. Like, you see them because they're too busy looking at your back, but they don't even realize you're right in front of them. They don't even recognize you almost. And it's because of this change. So whatever it is you're doing, Capricorns, like, that's your shadow of judgment. So be very careful. This could be somebody, like... I don't know. I feel like almost someone's vindictive because you didn't take them along. Which is kind of like, you know, like, well, you know, that's kind of your fault. You could have came. But unfortunately, third party, you know. But that was the shadow of judgments for Earth. I will see you guys next week, and I hope you guys have a good one. Bye-bye.